All right, if you want the chance to experience some of South Carolina's best chefs and best locally grown food, Palmetto Palette is just two days away. The event pairs chefs from local restaurants with farmers from the Palmetto State to bring farm to table creations to life. So joining me now to tell us all about it is Stephanie Sox with the state's Farm Bureau Federation and McKinley Till, the owner and chef at Palmetto Peach Catering. So thank you guys so much for being here with us today. Thank you for having us. Yeah, so I know you've got some local peaches here. You've got some in your creating. So walk us through what you're making here. Yeah, absolutely. So this is a just a uh, wonderful dessert I have of a homemade pound cake. Ooh. Essentially what we're gonna do with the pound cake, we've grilled it, kind of gives like a s'mores effect to it mm -hmm. uh, and then obviously these peaches come from St. Matthew's local grown Longview Farms uh, then I add some bourbon a little bit of brown sugar we're gonna get that cooking down this goes over the top mm -hmm. and then the ice cream of your choice that just sets it off awesome all right well you can walk us through yeah, a little sure. bit of this here and kind of talk about if you want to Stephanie a little bit about the importance of just local ingredients and local farmers here in South Carolina. Absolutely, Jordan. Um, well, agriculture is the number one industry in our state. It's uh, valued at nearly $52 billion in economic mm -hmm. impact each year. And um, in order to continue to thrive in that way, we have to have these local farmers and events like this help us show support for those local farmers. And South Carolina is really unique in that we grow so many great fruits and vegetables. Mm -hmm. And so it's, we're really in the perfect place for these great desserts like McKinley's making for us Yes, today. absolutely. I mean, it looks so delicious. My mouth is already watering seeing what you're putting <laughs> together here. So Talk really about good. how some of the funds raised really benefit the farmlands here in South Carolina. Yeah, absolutely. So for our second year now, we are actually uh, raising funds to support our South Carolina Farm Bureau Land Trust. And that's a land trust that specifically focuses on protecting working farm, farms, ranches, and forest lands. Um, South Carolina is the fastest growing state in the nation, and we are losing agriculture land at an alarming rate. And about uh, just a little over a year ago, we officially started the South Carolina Farm Bureau Land Trust as a way to help protect some of those most precious agriculture lands. Mm -hmm. So, so far we've protected about 3,000 acres in our first year um, as an operating land trust, and we are looking forward to continuing to grow, um, grow our land trust and protect even more farms across the state. That's amazing. Now, I mean, this looks so beautiful. We've got to zoom in here on what we've got going on. This pound cake, we've got local peaches, a nice scoop of ice cream. This is just really looking delectable. And I know that you have more local creations in store actually at Palmetto Palette. So what else do you have in store, McKinley? Absolutely. So this year at the Palette, um, we're going to be generating as much local produce as possible. Mm -hmm. um, we're getting our bread from the Sassy Wildflower. It's going to be located in Sandy Run. Mm -hmm. uh, she has got me some beautiful sourdough that I'm going to grill. Ooh. I'm going to be pairing that with some Cotton Hill Farm heirloom tomatoes, wow. which is one of the longest growing farms in South Carolina. Mm -hmm. um, we're going to then top that with some City Roots uh, basil microgreens mm -hmm. and then finish it with some olive oil and balsamic vinegar. It's just going to be a wonderful little bite. Absolutely. And I know that there's a, a competition really that goes on here and you won two years ago. So tell us what it was like to be the top chef that won. Well, you know, it's... <laughs> It just makes you want to go back and do better and just mm -hmm. try and source as much as possible. Um, we want to showcase local. That's just what I do. I do it in our restaurant in St. Matthew's. Uh, Smoking Barbecue is like notorious for barbecue, but we're also just so much more than mm -hmm. that. And that just comes from using local stuff. Absolutely. And we've got our local stuff on full display here. This truly looks so delicious. And there's going to be such an excellent display of what farm to table truly is here in the Palmetto State. So Palmetto Palette will be this Thursday, July 18th at the South Carolina State Museum on Gervais Street. It starts at 6 p.m. and 100% of the money raised will benefit the South Carolina Farm Bureau Land Trust. You can get those tickets online and we have all of the information on our website, WISTV.com. Well, thank you so much, Stephanie and McKinley, for coming on the show today. And tell us all about Palmetto Palette. Well, yeah, go ahead. We're going to have uh, 12 different chefs from around South Carolina using the freshest local produce to serve up tasty, delicious di dishes for everyone to sample. Mm -hmm. We're going to have a band. Um, it's just going to be a great night of food, fun, and fellowship. So we hope that you'll all join us for Palmetto Palette. Awesome. It certainly sounds like it. Well, thank you again for being here, and we'll have all that information up on our website. Stick with us. We have more midday coming up after the break.